evening, everybody. Okay, so now we're having testimonies again, where we're going to share our testimonies from our experience on Mile D6. And the theme of this testimony is um, service and its transforming power. Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> If you guys knew me, I'm telling you, if you knew me before Oakland, you would not recognize me. I am two completely different people from who I was before. And God is still working on me even now. And um, you know, being on Wild D has shown me that God can, he can transform anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past or, or however, whatever mistakes you've made, he can still use you and he still wants to use you. And, um, you know, I'm just so thankful that God called me to be on this wild beat. And um, I remember a specific testimony from when we were, um, one day we were canvassing, or, well, everyone else was canvassing except for me and Benta and a couple other people because we went to the bank. And so while we were walking to the bank, we found one of our books lying on top of the trash can. And I was just so appalled. I was like, oh, like if they didn't want the book, they could have just, you know, they didn't have to take it, you know? So we picked up the book, and I was just like, oh my goodness, can't believe this, you know? So then we get to the bank, and um, Jeff leaves, and it's me and Benta sitting there. We have the book in our hand. And a lady walks in, and she's just uh, just looking terrible. She looked homeless. She looked just, in, she was just in tears, basically. And she sat down next to us. She sat down next to us, and she just started to cry. And she was crying and crying. And I looked at her, and I was like, okay, okay, I know I should say something. But, you know, I don't know how to come for people very well. You know, it's just a thing I'm working on. But, you know, praise the Lord for Benta, because Benta was like, oh, what's wrong? And I was like, yeah, it's all right, Benta, you yeah. know? So Benta asked the lady what was wrong, and she was just tell, talking to us about how someone stole all her things. She just got robbed. Someone stole her bank card. And, you know, she's already, you know, like homeless and stuff like that, you know? And I was like, that's terrible, you know? So then um, I was just like, man, wow, you know, like she was like, I'm waiting for someone to come help me, but no one is helping me. She was like, I need someone to help me, but no one is helping me. And we were like, oh, wow, well, um, maybe if you put your name on the list again, you know, for people to get helped or whatever at the bank. So then she goes and puts her name on there. Her name was Miss Catherine. And then um, we had the book in our hands. So I looked at Benta and I had the book in my hands. And I said the craziest thing, the, I regret this so much. I said to Benta, no. Let's wait. I said, let's wait before we give her the book. I was like, let's wait till she comes back in and sits down, you know, whatever, whatever. So then um, she, after Miss Captain signed her name on the list, she left the bank. And um, we were just waiting for her to walk back in, but she never walked back in. And I remember, I remember just feeling so terrible. And then we walked out the bank because Jeff called us out to go back and go back canvassing. And I was looking everywhere for her. She couldn't have got that far because she moved very slowly. So I was looking everywhere for her and I couldn't find her because I, she just left, you know? And I felt so terrible that I had told Benta for us to wait. And I just praise God for, you know, allowing that to happen because I know he did it for a reason. And he was just showing me that, you know, there's no time to wait. Now is the time to go and to just tell that person that, you know, that God is coming soon, that we need to get ready. Like now is the time, people are, are waiting for us to tell them. She said that she needed help and no one was helping her. We could have helped her, but I told Benta to wait. And so there's no time to wait. There's no time to waste. There's no time to sit and just, you know, don't say tomorrow or next year or next time. All of that is, is nonsense. None of that matters, you know. Next year, who knows, tomorrow could never come for you. And so there's no time to wait. And I just praise God that he brought me on this wild deed to show me that. And he just, you know, he's still working on my character. And I praise God for that, you know. Even now, even though I'm still on wild deed, even when I went home, I still did things that I wasn't proud of. And that just shows that, you know, that I'm just human, you know, just like everyone else. And God is still working on each and every one of us. But I still thank him for bringing me thus far on wild deed and bringing me thus far in my life. Amen. 